Hello friends and welcome back. Today I am going to demonstrate the working of a proximity sensor. So let's get started. First go to controlEverything.com and search for TMD26721. This is the sensor we will be interfacing today. Click the subsequent link that follows. TMD26721 is an infrared digital proximity detector. I will talk more about the sensor later in the video but right now these are some of its features. Today. I am going to interface TMD26721 with Raspberry Pi using Python. For that we require a Python code. For our Python code, we will go to resources and under resources, Python code sample. The code can be downloaded from here as zip file or it can be found on github. Go to github.com and search for control everything community. This is our repository for control everything.com. Search for our sensor TMD26721. Under Python, we have our Python code. Click TMD26721.py. This is how our Python code looks like. Now let's proceed further and see what kind of hardware do we require for our project to work. For our hardware, we require a Raspberry Pi. These are the GPIO pins of Raspberry Pi. Next, we need an I2C adapter. This I2C adapter is available on controleverything.com. The reason behind using an I2C adapter is to simplify the connection between various I2C devices and Raspberry Pi. Next, we need our sensor, that is TMD26721. For making connection, we require connecting cables. Make sure while you make connection that the brown wire of the connecting cable is connected to the ground terminal of the sensor and same goes to the I2C adapter. To power up the Raspberry Pi, we require a micro USB cable. This is a micro USB cable which is to be inserted into the power jack of the Raspberry Pi. To provide Raspberry Pi with internet capabilities, we require a LAN cable. Insert the LAN cable into the Ethernet jack of the Raspberry Pi. If it happens so that you don't have a LAN cable, you can also use a Wi-Fi module like this. So this is all we need for our project to work. Now let's see how to interface our sensor with Raspberry Pi. To interface our sensor with a Raspberry Pi using Python, we require a Python code. For our Python code, you can go to github.com and search for Control Everything Community. As I foretold you, this is our repository for controleverything.com on GitHub. Search for our sensor TMD26721. Click it and under Python, we have our python code before we jump into the code i would like to tell you that i have used assembus library on raspberry pi a link is provided so as to help for the installation of the library i would recommend you to install the library before you jump into the code now let's proceed further and see how our python code look like go to python and click tmd26721.py this is how our python code looks like. Here I have imported assembus library. Now I am importing time library. Here I am creating an I2C bus. Now I am writing onto the sensor and onto the enable resistor of the sensor to be very precise. I am enabling my proximity and wait time resistor. Now I am writing onto the Proximity time control resistor for the value 2.73 milliseconds. Here I am writing onto the wait time resistor for the value 2.73 ms. Now I am writing onto the pulse count resistor. Here I am writing onto the control resistor for proximity to use with channel and the current strength. Now I am waiting for some time for the measurement to take place. Now I am reading 2 bytes of data back from the sensor. The conversion is done here and the output is displayed onto the console of the Raspberry Pi. As you can have seen that I have used this statement all over the program. This is a standard protocol, it is a command resistor. This is to be used for our sensor to work. Now let's proceed further and see how to upload our code onto the Raspberry Pi. 
to upload our code onto the Raspberry Pi, first copy all the code and go to terminal. Using VI editor, create a file with the name same as that of a sensor that is tmd26721.py. Save your file and now to run the file, type python and the file name. This is our output. When I move my hand over the sensor, the value changes and if I bring it closer, the value increases. Now that we are done with the interfacing and working of TMD26721, let's talk more about the sensor. TMD26721 is a member of family TMD2672. This family of devices provide a complete proximity detection and a digital interface logic in a single 8-pin surface mount module. The proximity detection systems include an LED driver and IR LED, which are factory trimmed to eliminate the need for end equipment calibration due to component variations. It finds many applications. Some of its applications are mobile handset touchscreen control and automatic speaker phone enable, paper alignment, mechanical switch replacement and the list goes on. For any doubt or query, you can contact us on controleverything.com. Please make sure to comment on our community page. We are happy to serve you. For more articles and videos like this, follow us on our instruct tables. Please make sure to like our YouTube videos and subscribe to our YouTube channel. At the end, take care and thanks for watching.